Okay, it's time for another what's in the box. And I get to do this one because this was my purchase. And by my purchase, I mean I asked him to purchase it for me. So let's open it up and see what we have. <gasps> it's amazing. Azul. Now, there's some discussion about whether or not it's Azul or a couple other ways to pronounce it. That's how I say it. Um, so if I'm saying it wrong, well, that's what you get because I'm going to call it Azul. So I fell in love with this game at a friend's house where we were having a board game night and I decided we had to have it. So here it is, Azul. Now let's go ahead and open it up and see what it's like, if it's as amazing as I remember it to be. I'm sure that it is because it was awesome. What I really liked about this game was how pretty it was. Now, sometimes pretty and a well-playing game don't necessarily go hand in hand, but I'm here to tell you that as a connoisseur of both, this is both. I love it, it's both pretty and fun. And it's not a girl game, it's not a boy game, it's definitely one that'll appeal to everybody. So here it is, all right, Azul. Now I'm kind of a sucker anyway for any form of teal or turquoise, so as a girl that really appeals to me, but it's just pretty. So this is the rule book, explaining all the different tiles, all the different movements. Oh, and it's kind of fun the way it opens up too. Check that out. So you can kind of see the gameplay, the setup, a little bit of the objective, how to play, some examples, and definitely you get a good view of like the tiles and what to and what not to do. Now I will tell you I have learned from playing this game that the scoring is a little different. Um, it takes a little bit of concentration to score appropriately because it's not as straightforward as some scoring is. So as you buy this game, or covet it the way that I did. That's definitely something to be mindful of. So next we, oh, I love punching things out. And this makes my heart so happy. Look at these circles, look at that. They're so pretty. So you can get to pop those out. I'm gonna save that for a little later because that will just really be a fun way to spend my time. So I'm gonna move those over to there. Get this here so you can really kind of see what it is. And here is a board. And there's the other side of the board. So what happens is you have multiple boards. See how pretty these are? So each player would have their own board. And there they are. And there's two different gameplay boards, obviously. Okay. So there's the boards. You can kind of get a good idea of that. And that one versus the other alternative play board. So we'll go over here. And then we have this bit of amazingness. I really love when they put us something a little extra special into a game. And they really did not have to do this. I mean, this is a little bit unnecessary. And so I love it. I think it really kind of lends a little more excitement to the game. So this is actually going to be where we'll put all our beautiful tiles into for game keep and play. So there's that, the beautiful Azul Bay. And then we have the tiles. So these are my least exciting tiles. It's a good solid blue tile. Now. These are not like little, these are not wooden, these are not a very light plastic. It's a, it's, it's a legit tile, which is really cool, in my opinion, to kind of see and have something of some substance to play with when you're working with the tiles. So that's kind of fun to me. I do like that. And again, with all my love of teal and turquoise, I love this tile. Again, it's just a good turquoise color. It's got white, 
and the image is on both sides, which is really kind of cool. Maybe like that. Then we have the black ones. I see a little bit there. Again, on both sides. I'm letting you know right now too, the fact that I'm not putting these immediately back into their bags is killing me. So next we have this one. And they remind me very fiery. They're not fire, but they remind me of something very fiery. Let's see how cute those are. Okay. And then last but not least, we have the red, which I like to call the starburst tile. It's just like my favorite starburst tile. And again, I guarantee you it is driving me crazy that I did not put all these little tiles back in their bags. But I'm gonna do that just to mess with him a little bit. And then I have these little black bits. These are wooden, if I can get the baggie open. Little black cubes that we'll use for scoring on our boards there. See, they will fit very nicely on these little spots to help mark where we're at with scoring throughout the game. And then finally, what was the bane of my existence as I played this game with somebody else was this little tile. Again, it's a great little tile, but what that does is actually help you remember how much points to take off of your round at the end. And as you read the instructions, that will make more sense. So there it is. There's Azul, the pretty case, the beautiful boards, the amazing tiles, the extra little bag, it's just pretty, and I love it. If you really like games that are pretty to look at and fun to play with at the same time, this is a definitely a good go-to. So I hope you like it.